When I'm feeling down I can't win For a strong cup of coffee I tune in I'm waking on up To java with Jim And now I know my best day Can begin Yeah Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Job with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. I'm drinking out of my coffee mug that Cindy Lee sent me. Thank you, Cindy, very much. We appreciate you. And we have my good buddy, Jim T. Chung, the walk star here. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And as is always, we have an attorney on board, my good friend, Jim Felipe Esquire. I've sent him a ton of clients. None of them have gone to jail. We have a wonderful publisher and author and woman with an opinion, Michelle Gamble. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, do you guys have any questions before we start uh, talking to Michelle? Jim Felipe, I know you have one dying you're going to ask Jim. What is that? You know, we, we couldn't have a Java with the Jim's show if we didn't have an interest in somebody's coffee cup. And um, there you go. You have it queued up for us. Yeah, my <laughs> coffee... Um, my coffee is the leading expert on the root cause of inflation, just like Kamala Harris. Okay, so <laughs> stop me, stop me. Um, <laughs> the root ask, cause uh, of inflation. <laughs> That's a problem. She was the inflation czar uh, since she couldn't be the border czar. I'm appointing her inflation czar now. Oh, wait. She's not the border czar. She's now denying that. Yeah, she's totally denied. She's totally in denial, and uh, which I think is a city in Egypt. Um, Mr. Felipe, <laughs> what were you going to ask Michelle? River. A river in Egypt. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. So this one, this, this question uh, really true to my heart because you know i am an attorney but i also own a property management company and so i just wanted to get your thoughts on the rent control aspect of what's about to happen in our state in november well i don't i can't say what exactly is going to happen i mean right now i think this year alone we've had two thousand property related pieces of legislation go through the legislature and um, the organization that I do the magazine for, we are either against or for certain things. Um, rent control is a very complicated, difficult subject. So a lot of property owners don't really like it because what happens is you get people under rent control housing and they never move. And so if you're having escalating costs in your property and you have a rent controlled building, that means you have no way to cover these expenses or to increase rents. Now they do uh, base rent increases off of the consumer price index. That varies from place to place. It's last time I saw it was like 3.3%. You could raise it up that far. Uh, but rent control, you can't do things like that. They, It's a fixed rent, it stays that way. It, it has, it actually restricts housing because you don't have as much turnover because people are staying for years and years and years. And so you can see we don't live in a stagnant economy and I see it as being very problematic, but I also don't want to see the rents escalate so off the charts that it's impossible for people to pay their rent. So I don't really have a position on that. I, I think, I think bigger minds, <laughs> but it is an issue, and I don't have a solution. But it needs to be addressed well, because Jim, uh, Chong has a big mind. Uh, do you have a follow up question for Michelle? Yeah. So in your mind, um, you were kind of alluding to this here, right? I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Is there any thing? we need to consider to help with the problem you know that's uh, happening here with uh you know just housing and stuff in general you know lack of housing and stuff what can we do i mean they try to decrease the interest rate housing prices go up what 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 do you see as a possible solution and maybe that's not i'm not trying to say you have the answer but just do you have any thoughts you want us to um, think about there 
Well, I mean, the interest rates are too high right now. 7.9% on, you know, let's just say a 30 year fixed mortgage. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. <laughs> and I, that's why I was saying, this is not the time to buy because that's extremely high. Um, but we also don't want to see the plummet. So the big problem that I'm like with sharing, for example, with Oregon giving 30,000 is that these people could use this for a down payment. However, that doesn't mean they can really afford that house. So the the fear is that we're going to be facing a 2008 housing collapse um, because people just like they had the short sale in 2008. People can't afford these homes. Um, we need to get the we need to get the interest rates to a doable point, you know, to a level that's not. 7.9, but not so low that nobody can make any money off the loans. I believe that before this year, we are more at an equilibrium with it, but I don't know how to solve it in the big picture because of course we were just joking about inflation. I mean, we all know, they can tell us till the cows come home that, oh no, the job numbers are good or whatever, but we face the reality we go to the grocery store, we get gas, we pay our rent. Right. What are we going to do? Yeah, they did lie to us about the the, the jobless numbers, uh, but they can't lie to us about what it costs for a pound of bacon. So that's um, exactly right. They can they did. And yes, I saw that yesterday. They lied about the job numbers and got caught and got called out, which is good. Call them out, call them out. That's what I was saying earlier. I don't I don't care what your political position is, but please be honest. That's all I ask for. Honesty and integrity are important. And if you can fake that, you got it made. Um, okay, uh, Michelle, will you come back tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, ladies.